You've even cleaned my fork. Dion. Hello. How are you? I am excellent. My name is Dion. Uh, I'm from South Wales and I drive a Ford Transit. The van is kind of like a, a mobile workshop. It carries absolutely everything that is essential to my business. I love my van. I do. It's, uh, I, I, have, I have other vehicles. The van is my go-to every time. Even when I'm not actually in work, I drive the van. What is this? A Mark? It's a Mark 7 Transit. Dion, what do you do and what are we likely to find in the back? Uh, as a fabricator, in the back you like you find a lot of hand tools. Uh, there's a toolbox. Uh, there's probably a lot of steel offcuts. And eating on the go, you can see a lot of food wrappers. I spend a lot of time driving, so I'm eating on the fly. Chocolate bar wrappers, you know, cans, coffee cups, you name it. It just goes on the floor. Do you mind if we have a look around? I, I'd be pleased to have a look around. I'm not. <laughs> Oh, Dion! Look at the state of that. Oh, delicious. Okay, seeing a lot of energy drinks. You're eating and drinking on the go. A lot of food, highly visible jacket, tools. Yeah, this is definitely home from home. And that smell is... How do you get in this every day and think, this is my van? It's surprisingly easy. <laughs> I can't be embarrassed by the van, but you know, I do nothing about it. It's a case of, you know, suck it up. Right, we're gonna have a look in the back. You said there's welders. I hope that means machines, not people. <laughs> okay, okay. As to be expected, many, many tools, mm. drills, angle grinders. Do you know what, it's a bit of a racket in here. <laughs> Could be terrible. Do you know what we can do with this? Organise it for him so when he gets to the next job, yeah. it's easier. That's what we need to do. Oh. Dion, we've had a little walk around. We see that you're a grafter. Sorry, I didn't see that. What's the fork, please? The fork is important. The fork has to stay. Why? The fork stops my drinks from falling out the cap holder. This is a message for you, Jack and Joe. You touch my fork, I ain't gonna be happy. Deal. Take a mental picture. We've got eight hours to finesse your beautiful Ford Transit van. She's in a story say, but we'll get it done. Joe, yeah. get the stuff ready. We'll see you back here in eight hours. Okay. If you think I'm going in this van unprotected, you're very much mistaken. <laughs> Oh, it is rancid. The fork. Ooh. Don't touch the fork. There's a lot more than I realise. Hidden compartments under the seats. So the eye opener for me is there's more in the throw pole than there is in the keep pole. In the glove box, perfectly clean, preserved, unused Star Wars and sponge. Ironic. Hour in. Yep. That was disgusting. Filthy. I feel greasy. Heaviest of the rubbish is out. 
tighten the pressure wash, then we get on with the contact stage. Let's crack on with it. So, we're a couple of hours in, pre-washing wheels are complete, but one thing I wanted to highlight was the use of brushes. These are perfect for corners and crevices, like you can see here. Something that the wash mitt would easily glide over, and it's one less thing to worry about. Now we're onto the wash stage. <laughs> we're, meant to, we're meant to be professionals. <laughs> Joe, how are we for time? Three hours in, we've only got five hours left, mate. It's a big car and I massively underestimated how long it was going to take us. It's a big rig. Let's get it, it really inside. Is. Perfect. <laughs> Joe, do you reckon this is the first time with Transit's ever been in a detailing studio? Maybe not, but definitely this Transit. I think this is the first time this Transit's ever been in a wash bay, let alone inside the studio. Yeah, I agree. Lot to do, mm. not a lot of time to do it. I would like to do the hoovering. I know you're itching to do those door cards. Itching to do door cards. By all means, help yourself. Thank you. I'm gonna shampoo and wet back the seats. Yep. Glass needs some loving, dash needs some loving, the back end needs sorting out. Five hours to do it. Five hours to do it. Um, let's crack on. We've got the surface dust out with the hoover. Now it's time for the airline. The airline eases up and loosens the dirt caught in the nooks and crannies. You can get the same effect from using a brush. Just try and keep the hoover close so you don't flick all the dust straight back into the cockpit. Right, it's my go now. And uh, I've been itching to get my hands on this door card. There's some mystery brown energy juice smeared into it. and years of grime baked into this. This is what detailing is about, the nitty gritty. Now instantly, you can see how quickly a magic sponge has pulled the dirt out of the armrest, restoring it back to that factory look. Great on hard plastics, you're not gonna pull any color out. Something a little bit softer like leather, wouldn't recommend it. Now, on this van, we're using a mild car interior cleaner. Something like this can be picked up in most auto stores uh, and it's gonna be really safe for most of your interior surfaces such as plastics, leather, your Alcantara's. Just a must have in your detailing arsenal of products.
two hours left. Interior looks brilliant. What do you want to do now? I need to set off this odor bomb. I want that new car scent again. What have you got left? Glass, tires, got to sort out that front bumper and the back end needs sorting out. Still a lot to do. Crack on. This is an odor bomb. It uses your car ventilation system to remove odors and sanitize it at the same time. All you need to do is turn the engine on with the fans on for two minutes and it works, it's magic. Now, obviously it goes without saying, work in a well ventilated area. We've cracked the workshop door open because we need the engine running. Jack, that's it. Eight hours, it's up. No! No, 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 no. That was graft. I think it looks good, though. What about you? The interior, I'm so happy with the interior. Yeah, look, the amount of grease and grime and how you've got that to smell somewhat fresh in there, bravo. If he don't see it, I'll be amazed. But let's just hope he does. Let's hope he appreciates it. Let's go and get him. Perfect. Hello. How are you? I'm exceptional, how are you? All the better for getting that <laughs> sorted out. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Have you had a lovely day? I've had a great day. Good for you. Thank you. We have to. <laughs> Tired. Tired, need a pressure washer all on me. So, do you want to see the van? I can't wait to see the van. We can't wait for you to see it. That is incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. You've even cleaned my fork. <laughs> I can't wait to get in it and have a nice drive home. It smells nice, looks nice. Just blow my mind, it is like a brand new van. Long drive home tonight. Yeah. Are you going to eat in the car? Yes. Oh. Yeah. I'll be a lot more careful though. Okay, thanks. Yeah, good. <laughs> Can you just open a window or something like that? Yeah, definitely. Just try your hardest. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for all your efforts bringing this old battled up van back into a, a fresh perspective, ready for me to enjoy and hopefully I can show it a bit more love in the future as well through your efforts. Be worth more now and all. <laughs> <laughs>